Damal Krishnaswamy Patamal, pronunciation, the 19th of March 1919 to the 16th of July 2009, was an Indian Carnatic musician and a playback singer for film songs in Tamil. She, along with her contemporaries M. S. Subbulakshmi and M. L. Vasanthakumari, were and still are popularly referred to as the female trinity of Carnatic music. This trio initiated the entry of women into mainstream Carnatic music. She has been appreciated all over the world by Carnatic music lovers. Early life and background Patamal was born in a Brahmin family in Kanchipuram of Tamil Nadu, India. She was named as Alamelu, but fondly called Pada as a child prodigy. Her father, Damal Krishnaswamy Dikshithar, who was deeply interested in music, inspired her to learn Carnatic music. Her mother, Kanthamathi Rajamal, although a talented singer herself, was not permitted to sing even for friends or relatives in line with strict orthodox tradition. Despite her orthodox background, Patamal sang and showed considerable music talent at an early age, she received no formal gurukula training. As a child, Patamal sat through the concerts, and on returning home, notated the kritis she heard, and key phrases of ragas. Her brothers D. K. Ranganathan, D. K. Nagarajan, and D. K. Jayaraman, later her vocal accompanists, helped her in this task. She also sang simple devotional hymns and songs her father taught her. Later, she received tuition from an unnamed Telugu-speaking musician, whom she called Telugu Vajar, or Telugu teacher. He'd also offered to teach her Telugu and Sanskrit. Singing career At age 8, Patamal won first prize for singing Thyagarajas Ruksha Betair", in Bhairavi, at a competition conducted by C. Subramanya Pillai popularly known as Naina Pillai, whom Patamal admired deeply. According to Patamal, Naina Pillai would host Thyagaraja Utsavams festivals dedicated to Thyagaraja in Kanchipuram every year, and was a veteran in the art of singing Ragam Thanam Pallavi. In 1929, at age 10, Patamal gave her first radio performance for Madras Corporation Radio now known as AIR, and three years later, she gave her first public concert at Madras Rasika Ranjani Sabha in 1932. One year later, she moved to Chennai to become a regular performer in concerts and gave her first performance at the Mahila Samajam the Egmer Ladies Club, and won acclaim. In 1939, Patamal married R. Iswaran. She quickly rose to stardom, and her musical career spanned more than 65 years. D. K. Patamal's knowledge was encyclopedic, she was considered as an authority on Mutuswami Dikshitar's compositions, and is also known for her renditions of these. She learned authentic versions of these compositions from Ambi Dikshitar, a descendant of Mutuswami Dikshitar, as well as Justice T. L. Venkatrama Iyer, an authority on Dikshitar's compositions. She popularized several Dikshithar's compositions in her concerts, and also sang Tirupagas and Tavarams that she learnt from Apadaraya Chari. Patamal also learnt many compositions of Papanasam Savan, directly from the composer himself. She went on to popularize these compositions of Papanasam Savan, as well as those of Subramania Bharathiyar, both in film and Carnatic music. Patamal started a few revolutionary trends in Carnatic music. She was the first Brahmin woman to have performed this genre of music publicly. Brahmins ranked as the highest in the caste hierarchy prevalent in India in the early 20th century, and society considered it taboo for a Brahmin woman to perform on stage. Patamal was also the first woman to have performed Ragam Thanam Pallavi in concerts. Ragam Thanam Pallavi, which was classed as a male stronghold, is the most difficult concert item in Carnatic music, as it calls for great skill and a high degree of concentration to handle the rhythmic complexities involved. Patamal went further to perform very complex Pallavis in intricate talas rhythmic cycles, impressing and earning the respect of her male peers, connoisseurs and fellow musicians. Her singing of Pallavis was technically perfect, and aesthetically pleasing. For this reason, she became dubbed. Pallavi Patamal. She learnt a few Pallavis and compositions from Naina Pillai, and several from Vidyala Narasimalu Naidu, the nephew of Tirupati Narayanaswami Naidu, a prominent composer of Javelis. Today, many female Carnatic musicians perform Ragam Thanam Pallavi as the main item in their concerts. <laughs> Topic. 
Films Patamal was one of the earliest Carnatic musicians to sing in films, and was introduced in this medium by Papanasam Savan. Although she received many offers to sing for films, she only accepted those that involved devotional or patriotic songs, and declined offers to sing romantic songs. The first film Patamal sang in was Thyagabhumi A scene, towards the end of the film, showed a group of freedom fighters marching in a procession, carrying the Indian National Congress party flag, with Desa Savai Seya Verer, being sung by Patamal in the background. The song, written by Kalki R. Krishnamurti and tuned by Papanasam Savan, highlighted the freedom movement and invited people to join. The fame that the film and the song generated led to both being banned by the British government. Patamal popularized several patriotic compositions of Subramania Bharathiyar. In Nam Iravar, 1947, her renditions of Vetri Etu Dikam Etta and Aduvom Palu Paduvom, a remarkably prescient creation celebrating a free India, went on to be big hits. In Rama Rajam 1948, Patamal popularized Subramania Bharati's Thoander Pujvanai P. Pol, while she popularized his composition Thirata Vilayatu Pilai in Vedhala Ulagam 1948. Patamal's singing, along with the dancing of baby Kamala in the film, made the latter of these especially memorable. In AVM's Vajkai 1949, where Vijayanthamala was introduced to film acting, Patamal sang the nationalist poets. Bharatha Samudayam Vajgave. Patamal also had the rare honor of performing at the foundation laying ceremony of the Bharati Memorial at Etiapuram. Patamal sang in other films including Mahatma Yurangar, 1947, Pihaikam Vazi, 1948, Lavanya. 1951. The last song Patamal sang in film was at the age of 80 for the Tamil film, Hey Ram. 2000. Ilayaraja and Kamal Hassan carted recording equipment to her home and had her sing. Vaishnav Janato, a favorite of Mahatma Gandhi, for the film. Patamal was one of the artists in Jana Gana Mana video album composed by A. R. Rahman which was released on 26 January 2000 to mark the 50th year of the Indian Republic. Patamal who at 80, was the most senior most among the rest of the other vocal artists in this video album. Tours. <laughs> <laughs> Patamal has performed in all major states, sabhas and venues throughout India, as well as numerous destinations around the world, including the United States, Canada, France, Germany, Switzerland, Sri Lanka and other countries. Disciples <inaudible> 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 Patamal's style of singing attracted many students, foremost among them her younger brother D. K. J. Raman, who sang with her in several concerts, and who himself received the Sangeetha Kalanidhi in 1990. A few of her other popular students include her daughter-in-law Lalitha Sivakumar, Sishila Raman, granddaughter Gayathri Sundara Raman, Geetha Rajashakar, her granddaughter Nityasri Mahadevan, her great-granddaughter Lavanya Sundara Raman, and her Malaysian, Chinese student, adopted grandson Chong Chu Sen Sai Madana Mohan Kumar from Malaysia. Death Patamal died of natural causes in Chennai on 16 July 2009 at 1.30 pm. She was survived by I. Sivakumar and I. Lakshvankumar, as well as her grandchildren Rajguru, Gayathri, Nityasri, and Sharan. Her husband, R. Iswaran died on 2 April 2010, aged 95. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and titles D. K. Patamal received several awards and titles throughout her career. Most notably these include Gana Saraswati, a title bestowed on her by the musician Tiger Viratacharayar. Sangeetha Sagara Ratna, title Sangeet Natak Akademi Award 1961. Sangeetha Kalanidhi 1970, highest accolade in Carnatic music Padma Bhushan 1971, from the Government of India Sangeetha Kalasahamani 1978, by the Indian Fine Arts Society, Chennai Fellow of Sangeet Natak Akademi elected in 1992 
Padma Vibhushan 1998, India's second highest civilian honor. Sangeeta Saraswati 2006, award bestowed by Guruji Viswanath, founder of Maneva Siva Kendra. <laughs> Notes <laughs>